happy birthday, though we won't start with the beginning of the 180 years, um, because as I said in my farewell speech when I was governor of Hong Kong, nobody would seek in the 21st century, except maybe China when they're talking about Xinjiang or Tibet, to justify imperialism or colonialism. Um, but what I wanted to say is quite simply this, the Chinese communist leadership very often say that to love China, you have to love the Communist Party. But that's not something that people in Hong Kong, the overwhelming majority, or in Taiwan for that matter, are prepared to swallow. Uh, they're proud of being Chinese, but they're proud of what they've actually created in Hong Kong. Um, a free society under the rule of law, which is fantastically successful, which has been a, a, a beacon for the international community. And it's because of its success, it's because of its freedoms, freedom of speech, freedom of worship and so on. It's because of the rule of law that the Chinese communist leadership, uh, which most, uh, a large number of people in Hong Kong fled uh, when it was being so brutal uh, during, the, during the 70s, 80s and 90s and even earlier. Um, people will not accept that they have to give up their freedoms in order to uh, um, live happily uh, next door to the Chinese mainland. They were promised that they could have the rule of law. They were promised that they could have their freedoms. Now that's being rolled back. But I don't think you can put Hong Kong in handcuffs indefinitely. You can't put a great idea, the idea of freedom, the idea of the rule of law in handcuffs. So uh, I'm betting on Hong Kong in the medium and long term. And if everybody in the international community supports Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong's idea of freedom will survive uh, long after Chinese communist Leninism uh, has died a death. On the 180th anniversary of the founding of modern Hong Kong, I, as a member of parliament here in the United Kingdom Parliament, want to send all of you who struggle in your fight for freedom and democracy a message of support, not just from myself, not just from the whole of parliament, but I think from the whole of the free world. We recognize what is happening, your struggles, your travails, and the often awful treatment that you suffer as a result of that. You are an inspiration to all of us. We support you, we back you in any way we can, and we offer you our prayers and best wishes in this struggle. Freedom and democracy should be the right of every living person. The people of Hong Kong have the same right to enjoy democracy as everybody else in the civilized world. The Chinese government seems determined to deny them that right. And that is why I believe that it is vital that we stand beside Hong Kongers in their fight for the freedoms that most of us take for granted. I'm here with you today to celebrate the 180th anniversary of the founding of modern Hong Kong, an outward-looking, internationalist and free city. The freedom of Hong Kong and all her residents is deeply important to me and so many of my colleagues in the British Parliament. We stand with you, support you, and believe that the unilateral introduction of national security legislation by Beijing in Hong Kong is wrong and against international law. I pledge to continue to raise these issues and push the British government to do all it can to help you and support you. Today marks the 180th anniversary of the founding of modern Hong Kong. I was pleased to sign an early day motion to mark this celebration and to recognise the strong ties between our two countries. I very much welcome the opening of a British Nationals overseas visa and look forward to the continued cultural, economic and social contribution Hong Kongers will bring to the United Kingdom in the coming years that lie ahead. I know that myself and my fellow parliamentarians will continue to stand in solidarity with the people of Hong Kong to promote democracy and the rule of law 
and I send my very best wishes on this special anniversary. I have had the privilege of visiting Hong Kong many times, sometimes in my capacity in the nursing profession, being an external examiner for a degree in nursing. I was always deeply impressed and um, moved by the spirit of the people of Hong Kong. Your professionalism, your compassion, your commitment, your competence, your kindness, and your commitment to freedom and democracy. The 180th anniversary of the founding of Hong Kong is a particular reminder about the special responsibility that the UK bears for the fate of the people of Hong Kong today. Hong Kong is a creation of British colonialism. That's a past of death and destruction that gives us a particular responsibility today to act, as well as, of course, the fact that we are the one of the two signatories with China to the Joint Declaration, a internationally binding treaty that is supposed to protect the rights of the people of Hong Kong. So today I say, as a member of the UK Parliament, I stand with Hong Kongers and their fight for the rule of law and democracy. <laughs>